There's a rainbow at the end of the road. You know what that means? We're gonna find something good. Something's been coming in here and, and tearing apart these beehives. I'd get out in video, but I'm not trying to be on the next video and bees go wrong. Ah. All right, we're gonna keep on moving because I feel like I'm gonna get bit again. Did I go touch one? They say that the pheromones, oh, we're not gonna find out, we'll do that. If you guys wanna see me open up one of those beehives and see what happens, leave a little uh, thumbs up. Maybe we'll do a, a, a beehive video. It's the end of the line. I don't get Is that snakehead jump in the back there? there? That's where they are, they're underneath their weed. Look at them boiling in there. Got the whole food chain, termites and whatever eats the termites, probably lizards and frogs and all types of stuff. We're trying to do a trail camera video and the fishing looks like it's on fire right now. All right guys, so we came out here to set up a trail camera on the back of the property. And we keep hearing stories about these snakehead fish jumping out of the rows and coming across and they're trying to walk on land. I've never personally seen it till today. We're gonna show you behind me. We just pulled up. This one literally came out from one of the ditches and is trying to make its way across the canal to the other side. So come look, look at how big this thing is. This thing sitting here in the road. Look at that. Whoa. People say they can't walk on land, they're full of it. That guy. Damn it. You gotta really hang on to him. I'll just get him like that. It's like a strong muscle. I'm not gonna throw him on the camera anyway. So this guy is trying to get back in the water. You talk about a strong fish. I've wrestled all types of weird crap stuff, excuse me. This guy will not give up. That's a full grown, probably a seven, eight pound snakehead fish. So we're gonna go set up the camera. This thing's jumping around like popcorn in the microwave. Um, I'm actually throwing in the cooler because we're gonna eat this guy now. We're gonna go set up this trail camera and see what's coming down these trails. I don't think they're snakeheads. I think they're uh, otters or, or uh, wild boar. Well, let's go check it out. Big old mama trout. We didn't even bring any ice out here because I wasn't planning on snakeheads jumping through the truck window. So let's keep going though. We got, we got our work cut out for us. We're gonna go to the very back of this property. It's backed up against the South Florida Everglades. And there's an abundance of wildlife out here. We were out here two weeks ago, week and a half, two weeks ago. And my buddy Max caught a huge snakehead fish that had a alligator in its stomach. and. Uh, We'll show you that video in another week. That's pretty wild. So what we're gonna do is go to that same general area that's driving the wildlife, and we're going to set up a game camera, a trail camera. And I th I'm hoping that these are hogs out here because then we'll come back and hunt them. But I think that they're otters, we're not sure. But just to confirm it, we're gonna set this camera up on this trail and then make a decision after that of what's coming onto the property. So get ready, it's gonna be fun. Eww. Don't get stuck. Oh. <laughs> if you guys want to see something different, see how thick this is? Maybe you want to know what's back in that thick stuff? Leave a thumbs up and I'll go way back in there and we'll set a camera up in there. Maybe the camera guy will get attacked and we'll get that on video too. Because that looks nice and creepy and I can see that something is going through there. So if you want to see stuff like that, let us know.
There's hands down one of the biggest gators I've ever seen in my life, right here in the bushes. Obviously waiting to do the same thing we're gonna do, but except it's looking for dinner. It can't be more than two feet deep here. This thing is, ooh, that's a big one. That's the South Florida Everglades right there. So this farm is backed up to it. So that's the oldest piece of land there is in Florida that hasn't been touched. And that's probably why it's thriving with wildlife. Ooh, look at the bush move. She's right there. She's right here somewhere. I'm gonna leave that one alone, because that one right there, and you're not gonna make it out if you get attacked by that thing. Maybe there are hogs coming through here. I mean, that thing obviously wants a big meal. It's like me at Burger King. So this trail right here is really well-worn. Look at this trail, Kim. And what's driving me nuts about this trail is there's nothing to leave an imprint of its feet. So if there were some sugar sand or something there, I could see footprints and I could rule things out. Whatever it is, it's heavy enough to, to break these weeds down. It looks really well-worn. These weeds are easily three feet tall. Whatever it is, is crushed them down. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe this trail isn't from hogs. Maybe it's from that giant alligator. Cool, only one way to find out. Let's un open up this camera and put some batteries in it and see what we can find out. So we're gonna unbox this trail camera. This is a DS4K. It had the best rating on Amazon. We don't have any affiliation with this thing, with this company or any companies. We don't care. We're just gonna see which one we think works the best. So this is what the camera looks like. I don't know if you can see that there. And when something comes down the trail and it moves, this picks up the motion, whether it's daytime, nighttime, in the rain, out of the rain, sunny, whatever. Looks really simple. I hope I can figure out how to open it. You gonna read any directions? Says no. No, we're not, we're not reading any directions. We don't have time for that. All right, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed that video, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna set this up on a post on this, on this trail and uh, see what we can find. So there's really no trees or anything to hook it onto out here, so I brought what used to be part of my daughter's trampoline set. It's now part of a trail camera set. cock a doodle doo we're coming for you. Okay. Hmm. When in doubt, give the trail camera a shout. So I think that's gonna catch it. It's gonna break off any thing that's gonna obstruct our view. Hmm. I was tempted to get the duct tape out. Everybody knows duct tape's the best thing in the world. Super easy. Strap that on, put a post there. Um, Wrap that bad boy like that. Now, I'm kind of going to pitch it down a little bit so it shoots that way. I want to know what's coming down that trail. Angle it a little bit like that. Ding, ding, ding. And now we'll find out. So I want to break any little branches. So this is a really well-worn trail. Um, I highly doubt that, that I, I think, I feel like there's a lot of traffic coming here. There's also another trail over there. So we're gonna try this out. If we don't catch anything or capture it on here, in a few days we'll try that trail until we figure out what's moving through this corner of the property. But so I've got that kind of set where I want. I feel like there's also no trees or anything for me to set it up on. That's why we brought these pipes. Um, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of tape because I feel like this is gonna slide down. Kind of keep it stationary in case somebody rides their horse by here or something and bangs into it.
I think we're gonna, the snakehead fish that we found on the way in here, I'm actually gonna leave that in the bottom of the trail because it's warm, we don't have any ice, and it's illegal to put them back in the water because they're so invasive. And I think that'll probably help us increase our odds to see what's coming in here to eat all this stuff. So we're gonna do that. You heard of the word, the term happy trail? This is the happy trail. This is the happy trail of the Everglades. I'm not so happy if you go down that trail, I'll tell you right now. So now that we have that all nice and neat and immaculate, I'm gonna put this here just to tighten it up. Re-ensure that that won't slide down in case we, something crazy happens. We got our camera. Bushes are cut back. Now I think that is right on that trail. I like, I like that angle. Hopefully that captures what we're looking for. Now the reason I'm not down in there on that trail also is I don't want to put my scent, because um, there's nothing natural about me running around the Everglades. I don't want to put my scent down there in that trail in case there is deer or hogs, and I want them to smell it and then take a different route. So I'm going to keep that as open as possible and as natural as possible. This is the fish we found on the way in here. Let's see, let's see how thick he is. Uh, <laughs> not gonna bite you. They are so slippery. I was yelling at the kids the other day to grab them. It's a lot easier said than done. Look at the size of that thing. He just wants to bite me. All right, so I went back this morning. It's been 24 hours since we set the camera up, and I noticed the bushes were all smashed down. It's the night before New Year's, and it, it looked like Somebody had a disco party down there. Hopefully I set the camera up properly. It was real simple to use. I actually didn't even read the instructions. As you know, I just put the card in there and let it play, so. All right, that's actually me. So I did add some stuff there. Made it rain. I made it rain grain. Full grain rain. Chicken wings, strawberries, and vultures. It's a vulture. It's a, tur it's a turkey vulture. It's my neighbor's ex-wife. Looks like a Halloween at my house, actually, and she jumped the fence. Oh, that is a redhead. Yeah, it's a turkey vulture. Cool. What is he eating? I didn't know, I didn't know turkey vultures ate bird seed. Oh, he's after my chicken wing. Okay, so turkey vultures love to eat chicken. Finger licking. That's actually Publix chicken. I wonder if they like spicy food, because obviously he's just, he's loving it. I see wind, Seminole wind. Almost looks like, oh, what was that? What was that? I saw something that left. It is chicken, a turkey. It's a, a turkey vulture. Two tw twin turkey vultures, two more turkey vultures. They're back. What are they eating? I did throw some bird seed in there. I didn't know they ate bird seed. Hey, that guy likes the camera. Oh, he just flashed us. Turkey vultures leaning in. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, they're mad. Something else is coming in. Oh, it's a long lost cousin. It is, show your face. Show your face. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, it's a. What the heck is that? That's a wolf. Fox. It's a coyote. It's a coyote. That's a big coyote. That's a nice coyote. Ooh, it kind of gives me the creeps. All right, so we I did not expect to see that coyote there, of all places. Those animals must just cover so much ground. All right, cool, so we got turkey vultures, coyotes, Let's see what else. A whisker. Uh, a stick. So, oh, oh, yes. That is, gosh. Look at his eyes, look demonic almost. That is a big coyote. Those are the coyotes that have been harassing the, the neighbors around there and actually eat, coming in and eating their pets. It's one of them. 
I didn't think they'd be on that side of the property at all. They must cover a lot of ground. There goes a butterfly, a gnat, a wasp. Ooh, that's a mosquito that bit me. Oh, coyote butt. It's a bobtail coyote. Oh, I can smell that thing through the camera. This thing stink. Oh, look how, look how aggressive he is. I think not wasted any time. You know, coyotes actually, that's what's eating the corn out in those fields, tearing up the corn. He's, I bought him eat, wonder if he's gonna eat the strawberry. It's a vegan coyote. Oh, it is. It is, ooh, what? That is a great shot. There's no denying. Wow. Coyotes stink too. I don't know if anybody's ever smelt one or been around them. Their fur stinks like the worst stench you've ever seen in your life. That's a big dog. I mean, you wouldn't want, if that got a hold of your dog, you, instinct's gonna kick in, but what is it doing right there? I think it just marked its spot. Almost like a jackal. What's it doing? Oh, it's doing a number two. Did that coyote just poop on us on the big screen? Ah, oh, I just, it's a log. Come on, coyote. That's a party pooper. Ooh, that's a, it's a, oh, it's a big old rat. It's a Gambia pouch rat. Looks like a Gambia pouch rat. Ugh, couldn't see its face. Oh, it's back. It wants more of the camera. It, it's a wild rat. Ooh, it's a swamp rat. Creepy little swamp rat. Did I think just go in reverse and jump back at the camera? It's like a tricky rat. It's a party rat. All right, rat, you're ruining our little thing. You're not what I was expecting to see. We got moving bushes. That looked like something big. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? What is it? It's a moving bush. It's a giant caterpillar, worm, squirmy thing. It's a butt of something. That's the biggest butt I've ever seen. Oh, I just peed on the camera or something. What is that? That was a raccoon tail, wasn't it? Yep. It is a trash panda. No, we don't. Those no trash pandas. All right, I did think we would see some trash pandas there because there's some fish in that area. I have seen a lot of. Oh, it's a whisker. Oh, it's a creepy whisker. It's an alien spaceship. Oh, what is that stripe thing? What is? It's a hog. It is a hog. No, it's the biggest possum in the world. Oh, it's a muskrat. No, it's a possum. That was a possum, right? That was a possum. Oh, he's back. Dude, that looks like a, ooh. That's a good looking possum. Look at the pelt on that thing. Somebody somewhere probably wants a purse out of that. Look at that whisker. It's a fly, ooh, it's a, ooh, it's a, it's a model possum. Look, it's a, dr it's a drag possum. Look at its eyes. It's like it has mascara or something. Ooh, it's, ooh. Shake it, shake it, little possum. It's a runway possum. Why is it? Looking at the camera, there's nothing for it to look into there unless it thinks, we should put a mirror on one of these and see if they look in the mirror. Okay, we're back. Daytime, seven old winds blowing. Flowers are moving a little bit. Something's coming. I see a shadow. Is it a helicopter? Looks like a helicopter is coming. I see a shadow, wind. It's a chopper. No. Let's go. Oh! What the? Oh. It is an otter. It's an otter. Oh. It's a swamp otter. River otter, I mean. It's river otter. I didn't think. Okay, I did. Oh, that's the missing pig that I thought was a pig. All right, cool. So we got a big river otter. Is it male or female? Couldn't tell. Those get up to about 30 pounds. Tops. That is a big old river otter. That thing, look how curious it is. I think they're so smart. Look at it, sees the camera. Very cool. All right, we're back. It's nighttime, and we've got live action. Looks like a butterfly. Oh, oh, we got rats. We got rat problems. That looks like my attic last summer. Nope. Oh, he's back, he's gone. 
two rats for the price of one. I think, I think that was a possum. All right, so so far we have, that's definitely a possum. Yep. Look out, is that another baby hanging out his tail? Yeah. Awesome blossom possum. All right, we're back and now we have Norway rats. I was hoping that, ooh, that's a creepy rat. Oh, we got a rat butt. Ooh, that is the biggest rat butt I've ever seen. Ooh, that is the giant, oh, it's a hog rat. No, it's, oh, it's a possum. Possum, how, how do you, why do they spell possum with an O in front of possum? I will never know. All right, we've got possum going loco. He's out of the frame. We're back with the, oh, there's a biggest mosquito. Never seen. Okay, it's nighttime. Something's going on. What's gonna come out into the camera? You're the next contestant on. Oh, something's wiggling a branch. Something, oh, butterfly. Crazy moth thing. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that mink. All right, there's another possum. I wonder if that's the same one that circled around. That one looks like, they're coming out of water there. Look how that fur's all wet. Look at that rat! Is that, is that a rat? That's not a possum. Look on the right. Look how fat that thing is. That is a fat, oh, oh, it's fat a, is. what is that? I don't even know what that is. That doesn't look like a rat. That is not a rat. That is somebody's lost pet. It that, kind of goes up on his hind legs like that. It's a disco rat. Right, right. Where'd he go? It was like a. Ch what was that? That was not a rat. Like a chipmunk. Like some a field mouse that ate the rat. He's back. Oh, look at the butt on that thing. There's like no tail. It's like a. Uh, um, oh, what are they called? Those little groundhog. Looks like. I don't have groundhogs down here, do we? That's like a baby, like porcupine looking thing. Did it come back? He's gone. Come back, we wanna see you. Show your butt. Come on, come on, turn a little bit. Work for the camera. That is a tailless mouse gerbil thing. Oh, what is that freaky looking? Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh, it's an otter. Oh, it's an otter, I thought it was, oh. That I thought it was like a Gila a, monster. That looks like an alien. That looks like an alien spaceship. That is completely, if you rewind that and look at it, like, like reverse. Look at that thing. Sloth missile. <laughs> look at that thing. Why is it hopping like that? If you like these, I'd like to put out one of those a week if I could, because I think these are really fun and, uh, and they're cool and we can find out what's in these areas. Um, so go ahead and turn your notifications on so you can see upcoming videos and make sure you like it and subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next adventure.